Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, we're gonna self-reflect. So I've been following this YouTuber called Lavender and her channel is based on self-productivity, self-improvement, uh, mindful living and sustainable living and a lot of um, healthy lifestyle choices based channel and it's a very relaxing um, content that she puts out and I've been following her for a while basically the video that she put out was a plan with me kind of a video where she reviews the previous month and she reviews the whole first half of 2020 and set goals and talk about how she has been uh, evolved in the last six months so it's a very interactive kind of content and she plans it and she also encourages her audiences also to plan it so when I watched that video I found the questions to be really really interesting so I thought I will also give it a go and answer her questions and it's just a fun activity that I wanted to try out. It's something new that I'm trying out, so we'll see how it goes. So yeah, let's get into it. So she starts off first reviewing last month, that is in June. And there are a bunch of questions. And the first question is, describe June in one word. For me, June in one word, I would say it was exhausting. I think uh, after us being in lockdown and like facing with all these crises that's happening around us, I was kind of in the point where it was kind of exhausting and the whole work from home situation and other things and not being able to make normal plans and everything and missing my friends and loved ones that I'm not living with. It was kind of like uh, a little more it became a little more difficult for me and it was exhausting uh, although it's much much encouraged um, to stay inside right now more than ever just mentally it was kind of exhausting um, to just keep hearing about the same things and there were a lot of horrible things that were happening last month that a lot of people were speaking about in social media so it was, it was very exhausting mentally for me so yeah for me june in one word was exhausting Second question is what were your highlights in the month of June? For me the one highlight in the last month for me was I did not spend any money at all in the last month and I somehow managed to save everything. Only expense in the last month was my EMI that's like a standard expense every month so that's the only expense. I did not spend any money. Not even for my parents that I borrowed for food, nothing like that. So I am that was that's definitely a highlight of the last month. So yeah very happy very satisfied the third question is what is one thing that you're proud of in the last month and for me again as i mentioned the fact that i've saved almost everything in the last month is something that i'm so proud of savings have always been a challenge for me it was always been uh, a task for me that i have to consciously put effort to and in, during this lockdown i think a silver lining is that you tend to save a lot so that's one thing that i have been doing it's a two month streak since i've been starting to save so really really happy about that the next question is what is one thing that you learned in the month of june for me one thing that i learned is that our generation right now with all of this happening and all of these horrible things happening I feel like we have gotten a lot more vocal about our opinions and we are doing as much as we can to raise awareness in social media or any other way that we can them sharing anything that would help other people to just get more people educated I think there are a lot more um, sources for awareness now and it's something that i'm really really i'm noticing on instagram and any other social media platform it's nice and again being vocal is one step closer to justice so i'm very very happy looking at that so that's one thing that kind of clicked me that oh okay we are not holding back anymore which is good so that's nice really really happy looking at that the next question is how can i improve for next month for me one thing that i would say that i'm lacking is self-care uh self-care in the means of food schedule, a good sleep schedule, having like, you know, staying hydrated, um, a good skincare. So those are the things that I am I'm not really focusing on, which I don't like. If there's any aspect in my life that I need to give more attention to, it's self-care. I feel like I'm not um, giving that much importance as much as I should. So I would definitely want to improve more time to myself and more um, pampering to myself to do in the form of small small things so yeah so those are the questions that she had for the month of june and now we're gonna go and plan july so this is a plan with me video so she kind of plans every single thing i'm just gonna answer the questions that, that i would want to personally reflect on i'm not gonna plan the month so let's get into the questions so the first question she asked was july will be blank and for me july is going to be intentional so i'm gonna be 
more intentional with the things that I do to take care of myself. Be it work-life balance or just self-care as I mentioned or just be more kind towards people and be more grateful and just enjoy what you have and um, more grateful for what you have. So intentional is one thing that I want to be in the next month. The next question is top three goals for July. So the top three goals for this month are gonna be one, um, to be consistent with uploading videos on this channel, two, to keep the streak going and save as much as I can this month and three will be to take care of myself and you know indulge more in self-care days and nights and just treat myself and my skin the and give the love that it deserves. The next question is do you have any mini goals that you have for this month and for me one goal is to try a different dish to cook like try to cook a different dish. Uh, I've been like kind of uh, beating around the bush with all the easy recipes and I want to try and maybe delve into the whole new world of non veg <laughs> and not just stick to your uh, pre-packed sausages so try to be more uh, experimental with the cooking because now is the time that you do so I want to maybe experiment more and like try new things and like eat good food that I make hopefully it's good I think it will be so next she talks about weekly breakdown of the goals and everything which I'm not gonna do, it's, I'm not planning right now so I'm gonna skip that question. So those are the questions for July and now we're gonna talk about the half year, how it has been and just review your self and how you've been in the last six months. So the first question is celebrate the wins that you're proud of. So I am proud of the fact that I have been uploading consistently for the last three months on this channel and I've only skipped one week although that's really really horrible but I've managed to uh, put out videos every single week for the last three months since March I think since quarantine started so I haven't been doing that I haven't done that ever since I started the channel so I'm very very proud of that and two as I mentioned savings started to save a new habit of mine now um, very conscious about things that I'm spending not to a point I'm stingy to but to a point where I, I know where my money is going so really happy about that as well so overall become more responsible in the last six months which is a good plus by the way so the next question is a pretty deep question it is how has my life evolved over the last six months and what have I learned um, Again, with everything that's happened in the last six months, in the, like in 2020 so far, it's been very insightful and you know, it's very eye-opening. And the fact that anything can happen anytime and we really do not have control over most of the things and we have to take steps, even if it's small, to make things easier for everyone and to just be more kind and more generous with what you have and yeah, a lot of self-reflection has happened. I've definitely become more uh, grateful of what I have and, and the situation that we are all in and how fortunate some of us are to lead a lifestyle that we do. So extremely grateful for that. And I got to spend this really, really tough time with my loved ones and my family. Like I'm together all the time, which is always nice. And to be able to work from home, even though most of the essential workers are not able to do that. So again, very grateful, <laughs> kind of very emotional uh, realization more, rather than something else. So as a person, I've become a lot more aware of the things that I have and uh, more grateful. So yeah. Oh, I've also learned to work inside a very crowded um, establishment. I'm, I'm someone who wants to have my space when I'm trying to concentrate and focus on something. But being, I mean, working from home, it always leads to a lot of, a lot more chaotic environment. Um, unfortunately, my house is not quiet all the time. So I, it helps me adapt to a lot of these environment, get more flexible, so which is nice. So, so I guess I've changed in a good way. Nice, proud of that again. And the next question is, what am I grateful for? I have covered this um, before, but yeah, I'm grateful for what I have right now in this very, very tough time. And for being able to spend time with my family and still be able to work and just take care of myself. Um, so yeah, very, very grateful for that. So the last question is, where do I want to direct my energy and focus for the second half of 2020? For me, this is YouTube channel. I want to continue to be consistent with this um, YouTube channel where I 
upload every single week and not miss a week and i want to try to explore different types of content that i enjoy making and hopefully you also enjoy watching and just dedicate more time and uh, effort into this channel because this is something that i enjoy and this is something that i'm passionate about so um it's nice to know that you're dedicating some time for this and wherever you have time so i just want to get more creative with this content and just the whole um video editing general so yeah so more good videos coming up this year so subscribe to this channel so you stay updated that's pretty much all that she discussed in this video so um again i thought it was very interactive and this is something that you guys can also do it i'm gonna link her video in the description below so you can watch her uh, video the original video and just try to follow along and answer the question for yourself and it's just a good time and activity for you to sit down and reflect on how your life has been in the last six months and how you want it to be in the next six months i felt like the whole time that i did this activity and spent time on answering the questions was such a quality time for me that i needed it and it was like a break from my screens and it was just for me to sit and reflect on things that happened i hope you found this video helpful and interesting um if you did please give this video a like and comment down below if you have any other video suggestions i will do them and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because there's a new video every week and i will see you in my next video bye uploading consistently on this channel and again keep the streak going and saving money and save as much as i can in this month and for wait what one two